Mr. Burgandy. Is uh, Candace here? Send her on a run. Before she gets back, maybe you and me should chat. About what? Well, I don't know. Is there anything you and I need to discuss? This is about my truck. I don't know anything about that. But I sure as hell don't need you spreading any more lies about me. I'm not spreading any lies. Really? Because I heard you thought I was dealing XK, which just isn't true. See, I'm not that kind of person. You hear me? Hey! I said, do you hear me? You stole my truck. What'd you say? You stole it. And you took it to a chop shop. Look, I know it was you. I did. I did. had my mom's watch. You shut your mouth. Oh, what? You don't want everyone hearing that you're a crap dad? I don't like liars. Keep it up. You'll get more than my fist. That was fast. It's just me, Mom. You're not even going to say hello? That was fast. It's just me, Mom. You're not even going to say hello? Hi. Not going to go to my room? Get down here. Mom. Now. It's fine. I just I took an help by playing basketball. That looks like more than an elbow. Did you get into a fight? No. OK, just stop. It's fine. Jonathan, what aren't you telling me? That said not to bother you today. He said that? OK, no, it's, this isn't helping, OK? Just please, just watch your show. I'm fine. Okay, got some popcorn, and I got some of those gummy worms you like. Clark, it doesn't take that long to get gummy worms. Where were you? I went to John Henry's. I knew something was up earlier. You have the worst poker face. I know, I know. Like, he just discovered Bruno's tech was made by the other John Henry, so I told him about your visit with his sister. You told him that without me? It's fine. I, I smoothed it over. Clark, I don't need you cleaning up my messes. We are a team. You don't get to have those discussions without me. Okay, Lois. And also, you don't get to tell our boys not to bother me with their problems. I am their mother. Their problems are my problems. Okay, babe, babe, I just thought you could use a break from all the headaches. From having two teenagers who are constantly messing up, it's not going to change because I'm sick. Jonathan just came home with a black eye the size of Australia. Was he going to fight? Probably. I don't know. He wouldn't tell me because you have him acting like I'm too fragile to handle it, which is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I am a mother and a wife and a reporter. Cancer doesn't change me. Telling people to treat me differently is not OK. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right. Now let's go make sure our son hasn't joined some stupid fight club. You are going to tell us who did this to you right now. But mom. Don't but mom me. This is a big deal. You were attacked. No, I just don't want to stress you out. You're sick. Yes, I am. But that's not an excuse to exclude me from knowing what is going on in my own family. Your mom's right. And I was wrong to tell you otherwise. So what happened? I, I guess it started a few days ago when my truck was stolen. Who stole your, your truck? Your truck got stolen? Do you guys know that Grandpa wants me to cut my hair? Did you know that Jonathan's truck got stolen? What happened to your face? Jordan, you heard your father. Did you know about the truck? I mean, I... Sit down. I... It's your dad. Something's come up with the DOD. Go. I've got this. Now start with the truck.